Hey guys, welcome to Let's Go Catch Some Snaps. And uh, well, today we're looking at a couple of lures here, guys. I was talking to my buddy Joe and he says he likes the purple. And this is, looks like it's got different colors. See here? Okay, and then I got the green and the yellow lures. I'm going to be making some. And I'm kind of like a little bit hesitant on the different colors that I need. You know, because you also have a purple one here that uh, no one's looking at as well. This is a purple here. So I think I'm going to go with the purple better. Because this has got like, see all the little different colors it's got on here? And look at this one. So I think I'm going to go with purple. So we're going to see if the purple one is going to work out for me better than the red. Stay tuned. And uh, I got the brand new lure here. And uh, one of the things I did, it comes with a brand new uh, mono line on it. And that's uh, going right in the trash can, guys. I don't mess around with it. I don't want it. We don't gonna use that stuff. We're gonna go with our titanium line right here, and we're gonna hook that up. Okay, as you can see, what we got here, we have uh, a ball bearing swivel, and I have a sleeve on it tied into that. To make sure that the sleeve is nicely tight in there, holding your wire in place. All right, and um, then we're going to come to the back, and we're going to put one bead first, and then we're going to be adding beads and see where we're at. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let me show you what the setup here is. So I put a barrel uh, ball bearing swivel on the front, crimped it to a titanium wire, Okay, I don't want the, I don't need the wire to be, you know, you know, excessively long. But I do need for it to have wire on there. Okay, so as you see, here's my triple X hook here. All right, with the one, one, um, little ball here. Okay, and then we're going to pull it on this side, okay? This is pretty much what you have here. You won't be able to see the hook, and this is what you want at all times when you're out there. You don't want the fish to see a, a hook dragon in the back, okay? So, this is one of the things that you could do extra, something that I do. I mean, you know, I like to do this on all my lures. This is something that will definitely, you know, be visible in the water. So, what I do is I get a piece of heat shrinking tube, just like that one. Doesn't have to be anything out of this world. Okay. Okay, so I apply some heat. Okay, always being careful not to get the heat shrink on the ball bearing. Okay, you want it to be able to swivel so you know this does its job. You don't want it, you don't want it to become a solid piece. So you heat shrink it and it covers the chrome on your on your sleeve. Okay, and, and it hides your cable so when you're trolling it covers it up and as you can see now my lure is completely ready to go and catch those fish so share like and subscribe let's go catch some snaps shout out to Joe Justin and Andrew